Hello, my friends, and welcome to today's video. So this is the current state of my office and the state in which it's been in for weeks. I just tend to close the door and not go in there because I wouldn't get anything done. It tends to be a space where I kind of throw things in, like I was mopping the floors in the hallway, so I tossed in the rug and the rug, uh, like a little mat and like shoes that I didn't know if I was gonna keep or not get thrown in here, just bathing suits that I have to try on for a brand, which you guys will see later in the video. Just lots of things just get tossed in here because the room doesn't get used as often as I would like, um, but that's because it looks like this. So anyway, today we are going to give it a full deep clean and then the rest of today's video is going to be random cleaning things that I, put off but really, really need to be done um, just sometimes seem to be a little bit daunting. So if you guys have a lot of random projects that you've been wanting to get done as far as cleaning goes, I hope today's video brings you a ton of motivation and I hope you enjoy. I'm not usually the one who acts out All those crazy little things we all kind of dream about also wanted to say thank you so much for all of the love on last Sunday's video on my final prep kitchen reveal video. You guys are so kind and just so encouraging and just always my best cheerleaders and I appreciate you so much. It makes doing this job, which can sometimes feel a little bit overwhelming and I mean, it's a lot of work and it makes it all worth it just to, to get all of the support because I do love doing these projects. I want to do these projects, but trying to get them done in a timely manner can sometimes be very overwhelming. So to have all that encouragement is just so helpful and so kind. And I just wanted to say, I appreciate you guys. It's
uh, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you today's sponsor. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but really, thank you so much, Cupshe, for sponsoring today's video. If you guys aren't familiar, Cupshe has a variety of bathing suits, beachwear, cover-ups, loungewear, they have everything under the sun on their website, and most swimsuits uh, start under $30, which is amazing. So this first one is a lilac colored high-waisted bikini set. I love the tie detail. Everything is adjustable. This has a cross back with an adjustable tie strap, and then it has a nice high waist, so it hits you at the smallest point of your waistline. I love it, it's very comfortable. I feel confident in it. I feel like I can jump around in this and it's not going anywhere. Okay, so this next one has adjustable straps and then a hook and eye or a hook closure. You can either wear it kind of sporty like this and a little bit more straight across for a little bit more coverage, and it's got this nice tie detail, or you can take these little ties and cinch this down like that, and then you have a little bit more of like a feminine shape here. This is also more of like a brief style, um, lower cut on the hips. It's just above the belly button on me and has nice coverage on the bum. Okay, this is one of the one pieces that I got. Um, it's a very feminine, very flattering swimsuit. It's a little higher cut on the hips and definitely higher cut on the bum. The fabric is amazing. It's very, it's like got this really awesome texture, super thick, and it's just this beautiful floral print. So for this one, it's a little cheeky, um, but it's not too bad. It crosses in the back and then ties down here to tighten it. Um, so this is fully adjustable. So okay, so this next one is one of my absolute favorites. So it has this adorable belt detail that is removable. It goes all the way around, but you can take it off if you don't wanna wear it. So this goes really high on the hip and really high on the back side. So if that's something you like, this is a suit for you. It's extremely comfortable, extremely flattering. I have worn this once and I got a ton of compliments on it. I just, with a bunch of kids pulling on you all the time and I didn't want my butt cheeks out of the pool if I'm being honest, but this would be an awesome like pool party or beach situation. Okay, and then last is my favorite bikini. The fabric kind of twists in the front here. It offers a ton of support. If you wanna tighten it, all you have to do is adjust the straps here. It's a pull-on design, so there's no closure here, so you don't have to worry about your little ones kind of pulling it off. So this is also more of a brief style. It's got It's low on the hip here, so you've got a lot of coverage and really nice coverage on the bum as well. Okay, I also ordered two clothing pieces from them. This one, I'm gonna be honest. I think the idea of it is so cute. I, I love the fact that it's like a romper and then your skirt over top. So then you end up wrapping this around your waist. It is cute, the fabric is not the best. Everything else I've had from them, the fabric is impeccable. This one's just kind of like, It'd be great for like a night out and you just want something fun. Okay, and last but definitely not least is this dress. So it's so pretty, it's this really silky animal print fabric, but not like, it's not a tacky animal print, it looks really classy. It has a very strappy, very low cross back. It definitely hugs at the smallest part of your waistline, which is also very flattering, and then flows away. If you're looking for a kind of go-to dress for summertime, this is it, and it was very inexpensive as well. So if you guys are interested and you want to try Cupshe for yourself, you can use code DENISE15 and save 15% on orders over $70, or the code DENISE20 to save 20% on orders over $109. Check out their website. There are so many options and I haven't really been disappointed with anything that I've gotten and I love their suits. So, thanks for watching. Let's get back to the video. It doesn't even make sense Why I think about you It was only one night Only that time And it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk, it's blurry But I've got the image of you Running circles in my mind right now And it could fade away But it probably won't And I should let it be But I'm gonna dive, dive into you And maybe I'll drown, but what can I do? And it would be all 
right to let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive, dive into you It doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch, the room caught on fire We could blame it on the wine, but we know that we would both be lying I wish I didn't want you Doing just fine the way that it was Then you hand me these emotions Didn't want them but I guess that I'm stuck with them They could go away But I know they won't And I should let it be But I'm gonna die so a lot of you may remember this day bed I bought last summer to put out on our deck for movie nights and things like that. I still absolutely love this day bed and I love it inside even more than I did when it was outside. Um, I should probably get a better mattress for it. At least for me, this one's a little bit too firm, but it offers a great extra sleeping space in case we have guests over. But I love the fact that it's in here and I can either lounge and edit if I don't want to sit in my desk or a lot of times when I'm editing, the girls will come in and sit up here and play with their dolls or color. So I just love having this as an option. My office is definitely more of a like all purpose space. And so if you have a room in your house and you don't know whether to make it a spare bedroom or a playroom or an office, it really can function in many ways. You just have to set it up and decorate it, right? Only that time and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. But I'm gonna die. So now I'm taking my doka pole. I purchased this from Amazon a few years ago and I'm just using some Dawn dish soap and some distilled vinegar and I'm gonna get to cleaning the outside of the windows. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. They're really spotty and they also have a ton of pollen all over them. So I wanna get those clean. I am, there's a few of them that I wasn't able to get to or take the screens off of because the kids were napping, but I did what I could and whatever I didn't get to, I will get to later. But if you guys um, have a hard time reaching your windows on the outside, if you have a, a tall home, like a two-story house, this thing is super helpful and can extend really far. I think I got the 20-foot one. I'm not positive, but I will link it if I can find it.
You will notice when I get around to the side in the front of the house, our landscaping is all torn up. We recently got rid of all of the rock and all of our flower beds, and our plan is to completely, well, except for here. We forgot all about the backyard. We have to do this spot. But we're going to clear out all of that and then put down new um, like topsoil and mulch and just redo the landscaping and beautify it a little bit. The rock was a huge pain in the butt. We knew that from the beginning, but we thought it would just be a quick fix. But unfortunately, the weeds were just awful. Things weren't growing very well in it, so we just decided to finally take it up and then just do it right. So I can't wait to see all of these beds with some beautiful brown mulch and a lot of new plants. So stay tuned for that as well. It's so hard to breathe, cause when you get too close, I lose my way and I freeze. I wish you knew what power you have over me. But I also decided to add this footage in. I had to clean out this baby pool and then we have another like larger baby pool that I'll be bringing over later. Um, I mean, if you guys have kids, then you know how annoying this task is, which is why I'm including it for a little motivation. So once you fill this up, if it sits for two or three days, um, ours gets full of pollen and then I just don't feel comfortable even skimming this and letting the kids get in it again. So I'm draining all the water out and I'll be scrubbing it with some Dawn dish soap. And yeah, I just figured somebody's gotta see this, right? I don't like doing this, but it has to be done anyway. When you get too close, I lose my way and I freeze. I wish you knew what power you have over me. Now it's time to power wash the deck. So we, our mud season has basically ended at this point. So uh, the, the deck I just was leaving until I could be sure that the mud was just kind of in the past. Um, so you can see there's just dirt all over the deck, which kind of gets run in and out of the house. There's paw prints, footprints, things like that. So I'm gonna be power washing all of this paint and chalk. We're out here all day, every day, and I let the kids pretty much have free reign of the deck because it brings us peace and we have fun with it and I can always wash it. So um, the rug is also covered in like dirt slash mud from just all the rain we got, the late snow and tracking that all over the place. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that with the power washer. Um, I wish I had soap for it because at the end, everything's cleaned up, but you can still see the paw prints and stuff once it's dry. But at least I had peace of mind to know like all of that dirt wasn't continuing to come in my house at least for a little while. Mm -hmm. 
Where are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now we're enemies You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down Once I fell but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch I did all of this over the course of three days, so they're seeing a lot of different outfit changes and whatnot, but the girls and I were so tired this day. Nobody slept the night before. I think it was a full moon. I'm not sure, but I once I finished this task, we all just lounged around on the couch outside and watched a cartoon, and it was really nice, but oh my gosh, you guys. Sometimes you just gotta pick up and get it done. Because I had been putting all this stuff up for so, or off for so long, even though I was tired, I pushed through, I got it done, and then we just relaxed. And then this was actually done a the day after I filmed that last portion because I realized I needed to clean this pool out as well, which was so gross. Just like I said, full of pollen and whatever else was sitting in there for about two weeks. So I gave it a really good coat of Dawn and sprayed it and scrubbed it with my hand brush. And now it's ready to go for the next use. <laughs> 